Hi and welcome to my laser studio. In today's video I'll show you how to engrave a travel mug using the laser pecker 4. There will be a brief look at how to invert the graphic. I'll also show you my setup of the LP4 and the rotary extension. However the main purpose is to show how to easily position and center your engraving by using some features in the Design Space app. One image will be placed exactly below a logo and another one on the opposite side of the mug. Starting with the graphic. I got a black and white version of an emblem which in original is gold and black. If I would engrave this version on the black mug the result would look something like this. Kind of inverted. To deal with that, I will invert the graphic keeping the background white. There is numerous ways to achieve this. This is a quick walkthrough showing one way to do it using Adobe. Manual adjustments is easily done using Adobe Fresco. In Adobe Illustrator I start by adding a black background. This is to enable a, what you see is what you get, mode. Vectorizing the image allows us to easily hide items like the background, shift colors etc. Done. Not far from the original. And to get the actual file to engrave I just have to invert this. By using the, what you see is what you get, approach, it's easy to visualize the end result for yourself and others. This would be the standard setup when using the rotary. However, when working with glasses, bottles etc. I prefer to use the rotary in standing position. Since the relative position between laser and rotary is unchanged, everything just flipped 90 degrees. How you work within the app isn't affected. In the app. Import file. Crop it. Resize. Rotate and place in position. I adjust the Y value to get an even value to work with. Repeating import process for other image. Then I specify the settings for the two images. 2K104 one has proven to work well for me on these black powder coated mugs. For now I'll hide the layer containing the second image. Leaving that one for later. If not already done it's time to activate the rotary. And then into preview to start work with the numbers. As always in preview with rotary activated you start by setting a checking diameter or perimeter. I've measured this mug to 65.2 millimeters. Clicking next will lit up the preview line that line exactly where I want the center of the engraving to be. I'll just have to reposition the engraving slightly higher up on the mug, done by adjusting the X value. And now, to get the engraving centered, 
All I have to do is to back the starting point equal to half the width of the engraving. So, by taking half of the engraving's width and subtract that from the value of y, the rotary will reverse to the correct point. Since graphic is rotated 90 degrees, the width of the engraving is represented by height here in the app. In this example I therefore divide 60 by 2, giving us a starting point 30 mm left of center. I then subtract 30 from the center position where y equals 40, getting a new y equals 10 where we will start the engraving. Exactly as expected. Note that we're back at the starting point. And now how to get the other engraving at the opposite side. There is different ways to achieve this. If doing the math in advance it's possible to set up both sides in one job. In this example we do one at the time. Now continuing with the second part. Back in preview again. Leaving diameter unchanged. Take note of perimeter. Since the design is that the two engravings being of equal width, starting point for second engraving will be exactly half the perimeter away. So by adding half the perimeter, 102.42, to Y, a new starting point is set to 142.42. I'm adjusting position in height by increasing X. And start. And we are done. Just some cleaning now using isopropanol and a magic sponge. Looks great. Perfectly centered. That's all for today. Thank you, and bye.